Okay, we will take a water sample at each none that we come, we'll take a total of five samples. I'm going down eight feet. We take pH, pH yeah. salinity, or PPT, the dissolved oxygen, flashing conductivity, when it gets really hot and you see algae blooms, the algae use up all the oxygen and then you get filled fish kills. So obviously the clarity of the water and the amount of oxygen are very essential. There's so many groups doing so many things um, all the time. <laughs> so I've helped with the rain gardens and I helped with the uh, Outreach. I I know I went. Uh, I, I wish I could remember how many rain gardens we put in my neighborhood. At least 10, 15 rain gardens in my neighborhood. Uh, they're going to put more than 70 up in Northbrook, and they put a large number in Symphony Village. Yeah. The program we have here, which is operated by the Corsica River Conservancy, is essentially a $2,000 grant per homeowner. Okay. And the Corsica River Conservancy keeps a contractor under contract, a landscaper. You as a citizen go in and say, I'd like one of these. The contractor will come out, help you properly locate it, help you um, design it select the material going in, and then he builds it. This was the first rain garden we put in. This is kind of a demo. Rain gardens, uh, in a lot of people's heads, they, uh, well, they're correct, they're difficult to maintain, or at least they require maintenance, and they can get ratty if you let them go. So this has been a very, very functional demonstration and education piece showing people that you can actually have something. Uh, and a tractor. Watershed wise, we've got almost 300. I tell farms for about 10 different landlords and I think I've got buffers or grass waterways or something on almost every one I believe. Corn is your nitrogen crop. You're putting nitrogen on corn in the spring to the tune of about a, a pound of nitrogen for every bushel that your yield goal is. So if I'm trying to raise 150 bushels of corn, I'm putting on 150 pounds of in. Let's take this year for example. Virtually little rain. Okay. This is a good year, this is a perfect year for us to need and plant cover crops because obviously the plant's not efficient without the rain, so we're going to have leftover nitrogen. So this year's cover crop programs are going to be a big benefit to the environment and to the bay. If we can do something to better our soil, we're going to do it. And if we can, uh, and if it doesn't cost us a whole lot of money out of pocket, and plus we're, plus we're helping the environment too. I mean, it's a win-win situation for everybody. And so farmers are saying, you know, we've done a lot of this stuff, and we've sat at the table for trip strategies. We've We've been through revisions to trip strategies and we've you know, all this stuff and yet they still want more. I mean the guys, you know, you know, really they're there's a lot of things going on that farmers do do, but you, know, you don't see the impact of it right away. And and I know they've got a big uh, push for more acres this year. But I don't know where in the heck you're gonna get get them because a lot of people are doing Almost all they can do now. <laughs>